trains. Yeah, but planes are safer. They are? Sure. I only rode on a train once and it had an accident. What happened? A plane fell on it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Just piping. Uh, <clears throat> we got a, uh, a Yabo today. A surprise, Yabo, because I don't know who it's coming from. <laughs> um, another fantastic day around here, weather-wise. Um, yeah, they're all done with the fields now, and uh, there's a few corn fields still up, but uh, most of the soybeans, at least in my neighborhood, are all down, so... It changes the view, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> uh, what am I smoking today? Uh, uh, a 626. Shocker. <laughs> tundra. Yeah, this is the Tundra. Uh, this was an estate pipe. Yeah, I purchased this. This was a estate pipe. <clears throat> UDS. Megamus Maximus. So that's what we got today. And uh, in it, another shocker. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Um, <clears throat> hope you're all doing well. What day is today? Thursday, I think. Almost the weekend. And I don't have to work. Yay! Well, at least for somebody else. Okay, so let's uh, let's get into this. Like I say, uh, I have no idea who it's coming from. Got a box here. Uh, it's coming from Laudisi Enterprises. Oh, Laudisi. Um, now, I just got a package from Laudisi. <clears throat> it was my own Yabo. And I know for a fact, I'm not expecting anything from them because I don't really order that much. So when I do, you know, I'm watching it. So this has to be from one of you guys. <laughs> yeah, it has to be. I know for a fact, I I got my order already that I put in. Uh, Laudisi is uh, smoking pipes, I think. And I got that package a few days ago or whatever. So one of you guys <laughs> are responsible for this. Let's find out who it is. Um, today's knife... And it's really windy. <clears throat> you know, I keep saying that. And then when I watched a video back for editing, 
this microphone, I'm not using an external mic. I don't have a lapel mic on. I don't have one of those plug-in ones. I don't have a mic. All my, all my, this is how high tech I am. All my videos, I basically just turn the phone on. Yeah. Sometimes I have the aspect ratio wrong. So some of my videos are, but it's too late after that point. Cause I don't, I don't know. It just changes on its own sometimes. But, um, yeah, I don't use a mic. And, and my audio sounds great. So I don't know. This is an LG phone. It's kind of kind of old. So maybe they put uh, a really high-tech mic in there or something. I'm not sure. Anyways. Um, when I'm outside, I become less worried about the audio now because... Every time I say, I hope the audio is good, it's fine. So, All right, today's knife. This is going to be a neck knife. The Kaiser Variable. <clears throat> I don't wear it as a neck knife because I don't like this sheath. It's too big. They should have did a folded over taco sheath and, uh, you know, trimmed all this off. But, I don't know. It's a little... I don't like the sheath. It's a little large for a neck knife, but I bought an Alti Clip type dealio. This is not an Alti Clip. I have one. I just haven't put it on. But this uh, is waistband, right behind the belt buckle, and it's uh, basically a self-defense type of scenario. You know, now you'd think, well, there's not much handle on there. Yeah, but it's designed. In a way, yeah, your finger goes through there, and it locks in. I showed my son, and I had him hold it. It's crazy. This design, how they have this designed, you ain't getting it out of my hand. I mean, once you put your finger through there, and then your thumb here, and your other finger wrap around, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much material in there. But as long as you have a fist, it's not going anywhere, and it's very secure. So, pretty cool little knife. Um, I bought this Warncliffe version just because it's more practical. Uh, they have a hawkbill. Hawkbill knife, it, it's got kind of a really curved, you know, that's more of a self-defense slashing type of thing. So, yeah, but it's ultralight, compact. I wear it in a waistband now, whenever I do wear it. But, uh, I mean, you can wear it as a neck knife, too. But So, yeah, that's what that is. So that's what we're going to open this up with today. Okay. And it's good for the pinch grip, too. And it's sharp. Oh, my knife's sharp. What am I talking about? I'm a bit anal about that. Okay. I'll edit some of these longer lights out because it's kind of windy. Okay, let's see what we got. Paper. Okay, and I see, aha, there's a card right on top. All right, who is this? guys a gift for you yeah smoking pipes Merry Christmas early you filthy animal Pat Paladin Piper why do I always hold it at an angle <laughs> Pat, Merry Christmas early, you filthy animal. Pat, Paladin Piper. Well, thanks, Pat. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. 
he's on the ball. He's getting, he's, he's getting them out now. You know, screw Halloween. I, I'm already in Christmas mode. <laughs> okay. A lot of paper in here. All right. Oh, oh, okay. I know what this is now. So it's Warhorse Bar. <clears throat> Let me think real quick. Yeah, it was on my holiday VR uh, to Chad. <clears throat> Chad's doing a gaw. And, uh, oh, by the way, real quick, side note. Um, liter I literally, as I was setting the camera stand up, got a notification uh, that Joe was doing his uh, gaw drawing, the Ponderosa Piper. And uh, so I clicked on that. I, fr I freaking won that. Yeah. So thanks again, Joe. Yeah, I appreciate that. <clears throat> Appreciate you putting on the golf. Congratu congratulations again on your channel milestone. Um, yeah, great channel. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, like uh, Dave, Central Cal Piper. A few months back, he was on a winning streak. I think this is like my third or fourth uh, win of something in a relatively short period of time. <laughs> So, okay, so Warhorse Bar, um, on that VR that I was doing for Chad, <clears throat> Pat commented, because, uh, you know, I didn't really have any, so to speak, holiday blends, except something that I was gifted just recently. And he made a comment that uh, we got to, we got to get you some Warhorse Bar uh, that he thought I might enjoy it, and uh, it's Christmassy. So <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I, I don't know anything about Warhorse Bar really. So, um, <laughs> but regardless if it's Christmassy blend, uh, this is going to be a Christmas smoke for me. So thanks, Pat. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm changing my answer, Chad, to Warhorse Bar. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> yeah, awesome. Really looking forward to this. Uh, Dark Fire Kentucky Air Cured and Matured Red Virginia. Nice. All right. Thank you, Pat. Oh, another one, a green one. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. This is uh, Dark Fire Kentucky, Dark Air Cured, and Matured Red Virginia. Okay. Well, awesome. I get to compare the green with the red. Fantastic. Fantastic. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Pat. I really appreciate that. I do. More paper. There's, some, there's a big, something big wrapped in paper. Oh, this is probably the order, so I'm not going to look at it. Because that'll spoil what it is. So, yeah, there's a big box in here. Oh, no way! smokes you guys wowzers <clears throat> holy crap it's 
500 grams. We got a pound of black Irish twist right here. Wow, wow, wow. Sure enough. That's crazy, Pat. That is crazy. Holy smokes. It took my words away for a bit of here. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Holy smokes. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I think I know where this is kind of referring to now. <clears throat> you did not have to do that, my friend. Wow. So, <clears throat> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <clears throat> yeah, it makes sense to me now. So, <clears throat> this goes probably back to uh, the beginning of the year. Can't remember exactly when, but earlier. I, I, I wasn't in the YTPC that long and uh, it was a Chicago pipe show. So I asked Pat because I wanted to get him something. He had gifted me uh, a, my first Yavo and a uh, super generous one. And um, <clears throat> so I asked him if there's anything, you know, because he wasn't going, if I could look. I, I didn't know what to expect or anything, you know. And I know he likes the old cadre stuff and artwork and things like that so I asked him some questions like that you know is there anything if I see you know I could pick you something up for a gift or whatever like that so we got talking a little bit and he had mentioned he wanted a uh, he has hasn't ever been able to find a uh, medical magnetop pipe so I went there with, with the intention of, you know, maybe seeing something like that and picking it up for him or whatever like that. I didn't see nothing. So <clears throat> over the months from then all the way until now, I've been looking and looking and looking and looking. Every time I look for something, I'll try to look for a medical magnet top. Didn't see any the entire year. And then I seen one and, uh, <clears throat> And I knew he really wanted that pipe. And uh, so I freaked out and I emailed him and I said, hey, I found one of these. And, you know, I didn't really, I was looking for one, but I never really researched it. Like, what is it? And, and everything like that. And uh, <clears throat> so I, I freaked out and I emailed him and I'm like, I found one, I found one. And like, you know, it's a, it's an auction and I, what's what should I bid or, you know, what's it worth, blah, 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 blah. And, <clears throat> The gent he is says, uh, "Well, I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bid, bid, bid more than fifty bucks. Uh, and if you get it, I'll, I'll pay you back." <clears throat> and uh, so my question was kind of twofold in that um, I asked him, and it sounded like he was, you know, still interested in that in something like that. <clears throat> and um, I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, okay." Knowing full well uh, the price was not. Uh, a barrier for me. I, I don't care what I had to pay. I was going to get him that pipe. And because um, <clears throat> I had, I, at that moment, I realized how rare it was and I hadn't seen one all year and, you know, yada, yada, yada. So <clears throat> I bid up on it and, uh, and uh, I won. And uh, <clears throat> so I was super, super happy. Uh, I was able to get, get him the, the, that, that pipe he was looking for. And, it's kind of a unicorn pipe, you know. You can find the pipe, but it's the it's the the magnet cap, the tamper, built-in tamper cap, that uh, you know they're kind of fragile. So to survive all these years is you know pretty rare. 
and I hadn't seen any sold ones or anything. Like I said, I scoured the internet, never saw one. So the first moment I saw one, I had to have it for him, you know. Anyways. So I gave it to him and stuff, and he's like, you know, <clears throat> super excited about it and happy and everything. And he's like, uh, uh, watch your box this Christmas. You know, my mailbox. Watch your mailbox this Christmas. You know, you can't you can't give anything away in this community without getting something back. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, 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 okay, whatever. So uh, it all makes sense now. You know, the, the Christmas, early Christmas, and uh, yeah, that's crazy, Pat. You, really, I mean, I love you. Yeah, thanks, thanks a million. That's freaking awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. I'm a little bit sh I'm shaking a little bit. I'm shaking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Holy smokes. That's crazy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I love you guys. <clears throat> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's a yabo. Wowzers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and I got something for Christmas to smoke, too. Black X I smoke every day. Here we go. All right. Red and green. Very Christmassy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Boy, I got to get this one edited up a little bit, I think. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? I am not going to put, I'm not going to tag Pat in the title of this. Um, <clears throat> maybe in a couple days, I'll, I'll, I'll tag the title in case anybody's looking for him or, you know, whatever. But uh, initially, until I get, you know, most of you to have viewed it, I'm not going to tag him in it at all. He'll see it, but I'm not going to tag his name because... Uh, I'm trying to think back now to what I just recorded here because I want it to be a surprise for everybody. Um, okay, well, yeah, you'll know when I open the card, but that's okay, whatever. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm not going to tag them, I don't think, in the title. So it'll be a surprise when I open the card, you guys will first find out too. So that'll be a little bit more fun, I think, for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, everybody. Boy. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Pat. Yeah, I love you, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just speechless and kind of crazy right now. I'm a little bit freaked out. That's a hell of a gift. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. I'll just uh, cut her off here and uh, ask you to take care. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows A turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, and a Happy New Year.